it's Kimberly. Welcome to my channel, Katie's Craft Corner. Um, Y'all might recognize this box because I have seen several YouTubers, Diamond Painting YouTubers, uh, review this um, in the last uh, month or so. Uh, but I was one of the people that was contacted by uh, this company, Elise, I think is the way it's supposed to be. E-L-I-C-E. -E. Um, sorry about the glares, my ring light. And I have a new bar light both and I've kind of got them in bad places because they're glaring on everything. Let me see. Oh, about to knock my ring light off. Sorry, I'm shaking the table. Let's see if I can get that moved to where it's not quite such a glare. My bar light I can't. Um, anyway, this is Elise. Um, I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Um, she contacted me and asked me if I would please uh, review her light pad. And I'm actually going to get this one out of the way because this is my giant A4, excuse me, A3 light pad that I use for some of my big diamond paintings, um, especially my diamond art club diamond paintings. And so I'm going to move it out of the way so that it's not being the star of the show because this is the star of the show right now. Um, it came in the mail. It came in a nice packaging, uh, packed very well from Amazon. Um, and uh, I have opened it to make sure they arrived okay. But that's all I've done. Um, just made sure it wasn't broken or anything. And because I knew it's going to be a while before I recorded this video with everything that was going on. And hopefully before I post this video, I've posted my whip and chat telling you where I've been, why I haven't been uh, uploading or anything. Uh, but if not, my mom got sick. I got a new puppy. My mom had surgery. Uh, a lot of things happen and I just haven't had the energy or the time to upload so now I'm getting back in the swing of things as I uh, may seem a little bit off kilter because I'm like haven't done this in so long it seems weird now uh, but yeah let's get to it let's open this up and um, I think I saw Donnie just recently do this do a video on this and I believe I saw Stitcherista I want to say do one first or no I don't think it was her, it was, um, oh goodness, I can't think of her name right now. Who, what is her name? Why can't I think of it? What is her channel? Um, come on, what is her channel? I might could look real quick and see a video from her, but Margie Franklin, that's it. Margie Franklin is the first person I saw review this. And it, even though I've opened it before, it's not being very cooperative right now. The box isn't. Come on, open it. Um, uh, you probably hear my dad talking in the background. Uh, he's calling out to my mom from another room and one of the cats opened up my door so I am sorry about that um, hold on just a minute okay I think they finished their conversation anyway let's get this open up I do remember I had pieces in it right here at the top and then this is basically all I did was pull it out like this and make sure that it wasn't broke and it wasn't so Let's see, nothing else in the box, so I'm going to set it aside, and I got stupid and set my light pad on top of the painting that I will be bringing over here in a minute. So let's take the styrofoam off and get this baby out. And get that out of the way, don't need it anymore. Go ahead and pull it out. So here is the light pad, and here are the items that came with it. So we're going to look at those, everything that came with it first, and then we'll take a closer look at the light pad. Oh, goodness, get out there. So set it over here to the side. Everything sticking to it. This right here is just a little inspection sticker saying that someone inspected it and it passed which is really neat I've never actually seen one of these in the light pad so that means that these people actually are very like 
careful with what they have or very into oh, whatever. Um, to celebrate the fifth anniversary of our company, please contact our support team to get the gift below for free. Quantities are limited. One A4 size fluorescent drawing board pin included. Note, only one gift can be claimed per user. Well, isn't that nice? Thank you for your purchase. That's a nice little thing. And then this gives you instructions on how to use a copy board. Um, it's, this is an artist's copy board, and I think they're trying to like make sure that diamond painters know that, hey, you can use it for this too. Uh, but this is, everything on it is specifically like geared towards the artist. Um, uh, it tells all the information on this A4 size, and A4 basically means that it's close to the same size, the light area, like this is an 8.5 by 12 piece of paper. It is basically close to the same size, I think it's like 9 by 13, I believe is what A4 size is. So you see that, well you can see the inches right here. It's 9 inches here, and then this is 12 inches. And then you got one more inch here, which would be 13. So that's what an A4 size is. An A3 size, um, it's not really double, I don't think. It's except in one direction. Let me bring my A3 over here again. Now, A3, when you get it, it's much thicker. I don't know if you can tell it because I can't really get it underneath the thing, but... Um, it's about twice as thick, and it's usually surrounded all the way around by this black. Get all the stuff out from underneath here, the pen and everything. But here you can kind of get the gist of an A4 as opposed to an A3. Let me get the camera better situated. Okay, come on. There, that's a little better, I think. You can see all of it, pretty much. And the, there, that's better. I can barely see it because it's kind of above my head. But this is an A4. This is an A3 behind it. Um, but it's basically, if you turn it this way, an A3 is the same size, pretty much, as two of these. It's a little bit longer this way, but if I were to basically just flip it straight over, you can see it's double the size this direction but it's not double the size this direction it's like one and a half times in height and one and a half times or yeah one and a half times this way uh, but if you like I said turn it this way it is double the size plus a like half inch or so up there uh, but yeah this is in centimeters so it's 30 by 42 light space on this one. Um, I don't remember, I'm not good at converting centimeters and inches. But this one is really nice because it is in inches. Here's a piece of cardboard. Um, it appears to come with a cleaning cloth. Um, let's open this up. This would come in probably handy for just about anything. Your eyeglasses, your... Uh, light pad, your computer, your tablet. But it's a really nice quality, soft uh, cleaning pad or cleaning cloth. Let's see if it says anything. Did I drop? I'm not the, excuse me, I'm going to push the table out. You're going for a ride, but you probably can't really tell it unless the camera's shaking. I'm going to kind of drop the cord. Yes, it's A4 size, or in millimeters, is 235 millimeters by 335 millimeters by 3.5 millimeters thick. Um, that would be 23.5 centimeters. I do know that. Millimeters, centimeters, you just like move the decimal over by 33.5 centimeters. So there you go. 23.5 centimeters tall as opposed to 30 centimeters on the A3. And then it's 33 and a half centimeters wide as opposed to 42 centimeters on the A3. So there's your difference. Um, 
unintelligent activity area would be 21 centimeters by 30 centimeters so it's telling you that the full as opposed to the uh, activity area is the lit area the input voltage is a micro usb uh, working current 0.6 amps uh, rated power 3.5 watts product light source is led component product material guide plate led lamp luminous intensity 300 to 350 lumens um, and then it tells gives you instructions on putting the light pad flat on your desktop connect the power supply hold the power button can be adjusted suitable brightness you won't um, that should be it can be adjust it can be adjustable adjusted to suitable brightness that you won't uh, put the artwork on the fixed area add copy paper fixed start sketching finish drawing turn off the power three levels dimming is high middle and low level that can be optional so that means it's uh, three levels it's not a um, what do they call a uh, seamless or stepless I said stepless a light a stepless light you just hold it down and it slowly goes up slowly goes down that's what my A4 or my A3 over there does and my first A4 does. So this one, each time you tap it, it goes up and then you tap it and it goes down. And then you probably have to hold it for just a second for it to go off. Um, and then you want to use below 300 gram copy paper so that the light will go through better. Uh, Let's see, put it to your suitable brightness, painting figure, use compare brunette lead paint. Okay. When using the copy machine, the room lights dimmed, the effect will be better. So that means basically if you're in a darker room when you have this on, you get the light better. Um, I'll probably turn off the red light so that you can get an idea when I turn it on. Um, and then it reminds you to turn off the sketch pad when you're finished. But of course, we aren't using it as a sketch pad. We are using it as a diamond painting pad. Um, but they did get, while we're talking about that, you did get a drawing pencil. Um, they do come unsharpened. You would have to sharpen this if you were going to use it. Um, it comes with a USB cable. And then it also comes, since it is an artist set, it comes with the pencil sharpener to sharpen your artist pencil with and it looks like it doesn't fit but since it's a brand new pencil it just barely goes in there but it will start sharpening and the more you turn it the more it will sharpen and let me dump that out in the garbage over here beside me um, you do get an artist eraser um, this looks like uh, an eraser similar to one that I have that I use when I do coloring. Yeah, it's very much like that. It's kind of like a really dense white rubber. Um, there is paper on it that you can start to uh, pulling off as you get further up, but it's covered and you start erasing. And then as it gets shorter, you can start cutting that paper off of it. Uh, but that kind of protects the eraser um, or you can start pushing the paper off of it. Let's see, it will start pulling up and the racer goes further down. But I always leave that paper on it because it protects it and you always use the same side. Um, but yeah, you can use this with coloring as well, coloring pencils. Um, and then it comes with two small clips. Um, it's like the smaller version of the clips that came with mine. Uh, my light pad came with these clips, which I keep attached to my little arm here. Sorry about that noise and the rocking of the thing. But... These are the perfect size for this thin of a um, light board. And then it also came with these, which if you saw the other videos, you have seen these pictures. I think everybody got the same pictures. I'm not going to open this one because this is just basic white copy paper uh, that you can put on here. Um, but you've got a dolphin a cute little puppy, a bunch of flowers, and some funky looking little flies, and what looks like corn stalks. Um, well, you got the corn stalk and then the bottom part of it with the roots. 
And then you got owls on a limb. You have an eagle. And he's kind of upside down. A big beautiful eagle. Or that could be a hawk. Looks more like a hawk than an eagle. Because uh, it doesn't look like it would have the white feathers. But I guess it depends on how you painted it. But it doesn't really have the head like an eagle. Um, but it is a raptor because of the beak. But it kind of looks more like a hawk to me. And then there's a cute little doggy with a bone in his mouth. I wish Maisie had ears like that, but her ears stand straight up. They started off floppy. They, when I got her, they were floppy. Let's see, move the box. And let's go ahead and get the diamond painting or diamond paint board. Light board. Um, if you've never used a light board, you don't know what you're missing. Because honestly, if you're having trouble, especially with some AliExpress diamond paintings. Um, let's see. Where can I plug this in at? Well, I can unplug my... I had my A3 light board plugged into my computer. So I'm just going to unplug it and plug this into my computer. Um, I also have USBs on the side of my bed. I have an adjustable bed. There's USBs in it as well, but my computer's right here, so I'm just going to use it. Um, it does have a pretty tight USB. There we go. Got it in there. And it actually has a blue light that comes on and lets you know that there's power going to it. A lot of them don't have that. A lot of these that you buy on AliExpress and stuff do not have these uh, the ruler numbers on it. Um, this is even uh, named for the company that you bought it from. I'm going to turn it on. It looks like it's turned on at, at its brightest. No, nope. that's a pretty bright board. So that's it. That's low, medium, and high. And then off so when you turn it on it doesn't like remember where you were um, a lot of them do that you turn them back on and they go back to where you were so this one you turn it on and you have to move it to the brightness you want because it starts off at the lowest brightness I'm gonna put these back in the little bag where I don't misplace them because I will use this because I gave my light pad to my dad my little one, I gave it to my dad so that he could use it. So I am without a little light pad, so I'm kind of glad that I did get this. Um, I had another one as well, and I gave it to a friend's mother who started diamond painting. Uh, so uh, I keep giving stuff away instead of keeping I'm giving her several diamond paintings, and my dad several diamond paintings too. Uh, but anyway, let's put a diamond painting on it because that's what we will be doing when we do it. So we're going to pull out the one I've been working on. I'm going to go ahead and pull off a piece of my paper. This is butcher's paper. Um, I buy it off Amazon. I'll link it below, but I buy it off Amazon in this size, which is 4x4. But you can get other sizes of it. That's just the size I like to use. Um, I have little 4x4 four four squares to open and start working on. Um, I'm not actually probably going to do any diamond painting on this. I'm just going to show you uh, how well the board works. So turn it on. That's the lowest setting. And you can already see a difference, I think. And then there's medium and there's high. And high is probably where I would do it when I'm diamond painting. But if you have trouble seeing the symbols, if it's like a really dark background or has dark letters on dark background, Diamond Art Club never does. And I wish I thought to bring out one of those where you could see the difference and how well you can see the uh, I might have one that I haven't opened yet well here's one that I haven't opened yet that has that um, so we're going to go ahead and open this one because this is one of the little rhinestone paintings and it's from AliExpress and you will find a lot of them from AliExpress like this where when you get them um, if you notice right here this is a really dark orange with a black uh, symbol in it. In fact, all of these symbols, except for the black, all of these are like dark letter on, are written in dark letters. The black has uh, a white letter, but these dark oranges, it's a little hard to see those threes right there. So, if I move this, I put this diamond painting down right here. Let's turn it off. And I'm going to 
zoom you in. Hopefully we're going to see a little better. Uh, let's bring you down some. But hopefully you can see that. You see kind of how hard it is to read these numbers right here in this dark orange. All of these threes. Every one of those are threes. Yeah. These are really hard to read. Even the ones on the black are a little hard to read. But once you... I don't want to give you a big glare. Once you turn on the copy board, already the one is standing out so much more. And then turn it all the way up. And you see how much easier it is to see these threes and even the ones with that really bright background behind you. And if I actually turn off that light, you can see it even better. So... There's what it looks like regular, and you see kind of how hard it is to read the ones and the threes. But then, as soon as I turn on the lights, that one time is already improved. There's two times, and then there's three. There's the highest setting, and I can see it even without my glasses on. And normally, I'm wearing glasses when I diamond paint, but I can actually see this even without my glasses on. Um, but dark on dark like that, it's so much easier to see it with a light pad behind it. So if you're having trouble diamond painting and trouble seeing uh, the symbols, uh, get you a light pad. And I will be linking this down below. It was only, let me turn my light back up. Oops. There we go. It's only $20, I think. I think it's $21 after sales tax. Um, I didn't actually whoop, go back out this way. Yeah, I didn't buy the light pad. It was sent to me. What on earth? Here we go. It was sent to me, but uh, she sent the money to purchase it uh, or reimburse me to purchase it. And um, so... It's a really nice light pad. It's not a bad price. Get it through Amazon Prime. Uh, you'll get free delivery. So it'll be like $21 and something after taxes. Um, you can't hardly beat it. Uh, that's about the same price you would get them for on AliExpress. Um, so um, you might can get them a little bit cheaper on AliExpress. But this one is actually better quality. Than the ones that I've got on Aliexpress. Now, like I said, I've had th two of them that were from Aliexpress. Now, one thing I will recommend, and I'll recommend this on any of them that are small like this and really thin. Once you put this USB in, if at all possible, don't ever remove it. Uh, because since this is such a thin pad, these usually wear out pretty quickly if you're constantly pulling them in and out. So, if possible, leave it in. If you're traveling somewhere, of course, take it out. But um, if you're just going to have it here at the house, diamond painting, and you're just like moving it out of the way, unplug it from your source, but don't unplug it from the light. Try to leave that in, because uh, the more you pull it in and out, it will eventually start to get loose. But this one is super tight. I have gotten some, especially from AliExpress, that were loose right from the beginning. And you really want to be careful with those. Uh, but that's that would be another advantage point to this one. Um, would be the fact that it is super tight, feels like it's really high quality USB um, right here, but it's only going to be so high quality because of the really thin area. Let's see if I can pull you out just a little bit more. And I keep trying to pull, for some reason, my thing off the... There we go. That should be high enough for you to look down in there and see this is really tight. I'm going to pull it out. And you can see exactly how thin this is. And there's like very little space on the bottom between the USB. There's a little more at the top I think. Yeah, you got, I mean that's a really small space or really like narrow space that's like protecting that USB port. So you really want to be careful when you do pull it in and out. And if at all possible, like I said, leave it in. And just unplug it like I'm going to unplug it right now from my computer. Well, before I do that, since I've got it so far out, you can see the blue light right there. 
that's showing me that power is going to it. And if I unplug it, the blue light's down. And what I would normally do is carefully, not too tight. Don't want to pull this real tight. But once you get it started, you can pull it tighter on here. I would wrap it around my light board and secure it. And probably pull out one of the little clips. one of the little clips and kind of clip that and go ahead and pull out the other one and see if we can get the USB clipped. Let me pull it a little bit tighter. Okay, come on. There we go. That's a little better. So I would just clip that right there and then go ahead and clip that one on and just attach it to the wires and then go and set it up somewhere kind of like that where no pressure doesn't get put on this or lay it down somewhere where the pressure doesn't get put on that. Uh, but I have like one of those rolling carts from uh, Michael's and I would actually put it um, down in there, um, there's it's one of those with the attachments, and on the back side there is a um, tray down at the bottom outside of the the way that I have mine set up with the attachments. Um, it's set up kind of like you would. I used to put diamond paintings rolled up in it, um, so it would be like set up the way you would for like wrapping paper and stuff. Um, to be able to like stand up on the back side of it So there's like a tray down at the bottom and then there's a piece that has like an arm that comes out that protects it I would put it in that to where it's standing straight up behind my cart and That way this would not like this would probably be at the second drawer. It would not get knocked around or anything uh, But I would put it there. I actually have foam board stuck in that thing right now uh, that I've cut up and used uh, to put diamond paintings on so I would probably set it in front of that foam board and put it down in my cart when I'm not using it like that. But yeah, if you're not using it and you're not traveling with it, try to leave this in so you don't wear out your USB. But it is a really nice, high-quality board. Um, my only complaint would be the steps. I really like the stepless versions uh, that you just hold it down. Um, in fact, let me show you what stepless is with my big A3 one since I'm going to be putting it back down. I uh, need to grab the cord because it fell down in the floor when I unplugged it. So I'm going to plug it back into my computer. And then this one actually has a permanent a permanent uh, thing right here so it doesn't I don't have to worry about pulling it in and out. So I just plug that in and then turn on the power. It has a little power thing on the cord. I turn it on and it comes on at the brightness that I left it at. In fact, I was just touching it. So I can hold it down and it goes all the way down and off and then hold it down. It comes on and then goes to its brightest setting. Um, that's what I like about this one that you can hold it down and see if I leave it at its brightest setting and Click it to turn it off. When I turn it back on, it turns on exactly where it was. So that's that would be my only complaint would be that this one is not stepless and that it doesn't have the memory to where it cuts back on at the point that you left it. So if you use it on the highest setting, you've got to move it to the highest setting. But that's only clap, clicking the little button three times uh, once you turn it on. Well, on and then medium and then high. So three whole punches. And... So that's not a big deal. Um, so that would be my only complaint, which, like I said, is not a big deal. It's not a bad thing. It's not a reason not to buy the diamond painting or the white board for your diamond painting. Um, I would buy it, and I would pay the 20 bucks for this before I pay 11 or 14 for one from AliExpress and wait for it two months to get here. It's not just the waiting. Like I said, this feels like it's higher quality than the ones you buy on AliExpress. So for six more dollars, 
somewhere between six and ten more dollars, you can get a much better quality one that's probably going to last you a little longer than one you would buy on AliExpress. Um, I wish I had the one from AliExpress in here because I think this one is slightly thicker. Because I think the one that I bought from AliExpress, uh, both of them were 2.5 millimeters thick, and this one's 3.5 millimeters thick. So, um, or it might be 2.75, um, because it does feel thicker um, and sturdier. Because the one that I have, when you pick it up like this on one corner, it almost felt like it's bending when you would pick it up, and this one doesn't feel that way. Um, it doesn't feel flimsy like that. And the one that I bought from AliExpress feels flimsy like that. Um, and I think I spent 16 bucks on it. Uh, thinking I was getting like better quality. So yeah, uh, I will link this down below. Uh, the last time I looked, it was still $20 for it. Um, I think $20, $20 $20.99, something like that. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, the cute little pictures is a plus. Um, the extras that it comes with is a plus. Um, and it's a great price, um, especially for ones on Amazon. Most of them on Amazon are like 30, 40 bucks for an A4. And then you're getting into like the 50, 60 dollar range for this one. I actually got this one on sale for like 48 dollars, I think. So, um, you know, huge difference in price. And you, it's hard to find these on AliExpress. Um, I had to buy this one through Amazon, and I'm kind of glad I did uh, because I do feel like I got a little, little better quality one. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll link this down below. I will link the diamond painting that I showed. Um, I can't link the other one because it is that diamond art club. The little gift is no longer available. Um, they have discontinued that painting. Um, but I will link the little tiger. And I will be doing, like, a official opening on it uh, in another video. Uh, but... I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I gave you plenty of information on this. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends about me. Help me grow my channel. Help me get to that milestone where we can do that great giveaway that I've got planned. Um, and I'll see you guys on the next one. And Give me a thumbs up and comment down below. And I'll see you later. Bye.